9.30 here. Um, I have a lot to do today. I have to do dishes. I have to clean. I don't even want to show what it looks like in here. Um, so the other day I bought these bins. I bought some big ones and some medium sized ones and some small ones and I originally bought them for that closet to put um, a lot of my winter clothes in and then I was like maybe I'll put some of the wedding stuff in it but now like maybe I should do the winter clothes so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to start folding winter clothes and putting them in these containers um, so they can be more organized I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope this video is a little more relaxed, laid back and calm as that is what I'm feeling this morning. I hope that this video will provide you um, some time to sit down and just watch and feel calm and collected and give time for yourself, whether that's what you need or if it's just motivation. We're here for you. So I hope you enjoy this video. Here I was actually trying to find the best way to store these sweaters as they are kind of bulky. Um, so you'll see me start over and over again. And I think I finally found uh, the best way to utilize the space in the containers. Okay, so I fit, I think about five or six bags of winter clothes in these two containers. Come on, focus. So now, I'm going to, I was originally going to put the wedding stuff in a, um, two of my other bins, but I think I've decided to go through all of this and put it in bins just to get it out of the way i really need to get that stuff taken care of as well so here we go
I'm going to go ahead and dive into some basic cleaning. I try to do basic cleaning every day. I don't deep clean every day, but doing basic cleaning every day does help me not have to deep clean quite as often because I try to do those things throughout the week to not make it such a tremendous chore when it's time to deep clean. Um, but I do hope that you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy. So I use a lot of Norwex products when I clean. Uh, my mom sells it. At one point I did as well. I'm not sponsored by them. I just love them because it's a lot of it is antibacterial. It's made with colloidal silver. So for that I just had to add some water to the Enviro cloth and went right over. And then after that I just used the window cloth to go right back over and it was smooth finish and I do highly recommend them if you've never used them. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I just, I love their products. So I think it's about time for a new rug. I have gotten paint <laughs> all over this rug. And now it drives me mad because from far away, it looks like the rug is dirty. When really, it's just paint. So I think it's about time for a new rug. I have gotten paint <laughs> all over this rug. And now it drives me mad because from far away, it looks like the rug is dirty. When really, it's just paint. I want you guys to see my stash. I have a problem. Um, I am a huge fan of fall scents. I actually got a few of these at Walmart the other day. Brownie and pecan pie, the vanilla cookie crunch. Uh, this one's called Cuddle Up. Some of these are actually empty, but they were my favorite like, favorite scents that I actually am saving the boxes. Um, but some of my favorites are the pumpkin sage. This I get from Cracker Barrel. It is a vanilla cinnamon and it is heavenly. I think I have a few of those in here. <laughs> Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the maple, but it does smell like what it's supposed to smell like. I just wasn't a fan. But we have the fall leaves. We have the butterscotch. We have pine. I mean, I've tried to buy things like, so there's the pumpkin cider. I have a few in here that aren't actually fall that I never end up using um, fall into autumn I, here's another pumpkin sage that I have so the issue is you know, here's another here's the berry and oak so I seem to like things that smell like food um, pumpkin pie autumn night autumn valley so it really is kind of a problem um, Cedar and sage. This is not too bad for a false or a 
spring scent, but I am not a huge fan of florals. Um, so then we have roasted espresso. So I'm trying to figure out which one I would like to use today since the house is clean. So it's between the vanilla and caramel spice. This is also a vanilla and cinnamon. So I'm a huge fan of vanilla with other scents, but not necessarily vanilla by itself. So I don't, I think about trying this one and I'm not a huge fan again of I like these more around Christmas because it smells like fresh baked cookies, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, I lied. I'm going to try to, I'm, I like mixing them. I'm going to try to mix this vanilla and cookie crunch with this berry and oak and maybe give this kind of like a creamy scent. Wish me luck. Okay. 